Hi everyone, it's Pastor John. I want to take you all back to your high school English class and uh, just ask you, do you remember what an oxymoron is? If not, here's a little refresher. Oxymoron. It's when you take two words that are totally the opposite and you jam them together, all right? Like uh, military intelligence, dark victory, thunderous silence. Girly man. You see, at first glance, healthy conflict might seem like an oxymoron too. However, when we look at what the Bible says, healthy conflict is exactly what God had in mind for followers of Jesus. In Matthew 18, 15, Jesus said, If your brother or sister sins, go and point out their fault just between the two of you. That's what Jesus says. Just the two of you. Well, okay, Jesus, uh, what are you trying to say here? Uh, you know, this is the complete opposite of what we would naturally do, right? It's the complete opposite of what we want to do when someone actually offends us. When someone makes us mad, we either want to run away and avoid the problem, or we rant about that person to everyone but the actual person who made us feel that way. Uh, a moment of honesty. I personally would choose the run option, usually, but I would never prefer someone to do that if I had upset them. I would always want someone to come to me. But uh, So leave it to Jesus to give us a different way, a more loving way, which actually involves us confronting the situation head-on at the root of the problem. But I want to give you three tips on how to actually address conflict as a follower of Jesus, if we're going to do it healthily. Uh, number one, go immediately. Ephesians 4.26 talks about not letting the sun go down while we're angry. Confront the conflict as soon as possible. Uh, number two, go directly. When you and a friend have a conflict, it's tempting to go to everyone but that friend. It's tempting to run away. But Proverbs 11.13 says that a gossip betrays a confidence. God dislikes gossip and spreading rumors. Uh, number three, go humbly. It may not have occurred to you, but uh, you might not be in the clear in this conflict either. Being willing to admit that you were wrong on your end and being humble, um, humility looks good on everyone. Proverbs 51 says that a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. So how do we deal with conflict in a healthy way? We go. We go to the person. We resolve the conflict immediately, directly, and humbly. Um, but in order to do that, we actually need to make sure that we're filling up with Jesus every day. Uh, because without him, we probably wouldn't be doing it in the most humble of way. Uh, let's go ahead and pray. Father, we just thank you um, that, uh, that you've given us other ways uh, to, to deal with conflict than the ways that we would typically choose, than the ways that we would naturally choose. You've given us a, a better way, a more loving way, a way that actually resolves conflict and for the most part allows um, both parties who are hurt to just restore their relationship. Because um, that's what you're in the business of, restoring a relationship. Ultimately, you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins, and he rose again to restore our relationship with you. And now through him, we can have that same restored relationship with others as we practice things like forgiveness and humility and healthy conflict. Father, we just thank you uh, for everything you've given us in life, uh, for those people that you've placed in our life to help teach us how to be patient and how to practice healthy conflict. And I ask that through your Holy Spirit and through just filling up with your Son daily, um, through the reading of your word, through prayer, through worship, that uh, you give us the strength and endurance to, uh, to walk out in healthy conflict in the way that you designed instead of going with our natural, weak, uh, sinful idea of how to deal with conflict. We love you and we pray all this in your son's precious name. Amen.